Chopper, it, it, it finally came. You finally know you're in the dance. Uh, how do you feel right now? Well, I'm excited for these guys. I mean, we, we put in a lot of hard work, and they deserve it. Um, you know, uh, 27 years of Division One basketball here, I think it is. Um, you know, in two NCAA tournaments here in the last six years. And, um, you know, I, I felt bad Saturday, and our assistant coaches and I talked about it today, and especially after the – Bellerman game of uh, what a change of emotions, but uh, we're excited and I know our kids will be ready to, to get to work and try to get better over the next week. You've been in these plenty of times, but you've always had your own control to get in. What was it like? Was it a little more nerve wracking having to depend on somebody else to get you in or what was it like watching the game? It really was. I, di I didn't think it would be, um, you know, obviously if Bellarmine would have lost the day we're going to NIT, uh, which is a great tournament. Uh, and But as the game started, uh, I kind of turned it off and started doing some other things. And uh, I think I picked it back up in the second half, and Bellarmine was up 12 or 14. And I finished watching it from there. So, again, um, you know, I knew it would be a tough game. Uh, two really good teams, two really well-coached teams. And... Uh, you know, we're just thankful that uh, these guys are going to get to finish off their career where they wanted to finish it. Talk about your bunch, a, a bunch that most of them have been together for a while. You had some guys that you didn't know if they were coming back or not until late, uh, but they did. They chose to come back and play together. How, how, what, what does that mean to, to be for them to go to this to, and experience this together? Well, obviously, uh, we were excited. They were coming back, and then we added Jalen Gibbs, who's been uh, – just a tremendous asset to this basketball team and just happy for all of them. The new guys, I mean, everyone has sacrificed and yeah, there's been some uh, bumps in the road, but we stayed the course. And, uh, you know, I think today is a, a fitting way for this thing to, to move forward. Can you talk about what was it like, I guess the, the swing of emotions on Saturday after the game was over with, the thought that the NCAA tournament was out of reach. And then you find out you got a chance, but then you had to wait to, what was the swing of, of emotions there like? Well, I told our kids, I met with them, you know, in the locker room after the game. And I told them, you know, how proud I was of them. And that that was not going to be the defining moment of this team. Um, we've done what we asked them to do. We won a regular season championship. And our next goal was going to try to get to Madison Square Garden in the NIT and get to a final four. Um, and then as I come out on the floor to do the radio, um, I think it was Daniel stopped me and said, uh, if Bellarmine beats Jacksonville, we go to the NCAA tournament. And I was like, what? And uh, so I walked back in and I said, guys, wait one second. I lied to you guys. You know, we still do have a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. And knowing that the game was in Louisville, um, that Bellarmine team with four or five fifth-year seniors, I knew it was going to be a tough task for Jacksonville. Uh, here today. You're in. I mean, you guys, this is what you guys came back to do. You're, well, how does it feel to know you're in the big dance? Um, it feels good. It's exciting. I mean, you know, we worked so hard, but we came up short on Saturday. So we just been waiting and waiting to see what the outcome would be. And, you know, Bellarmine won, and it was, it, it fell in our favor. And it's just, it's just exciting for us to go to the tournament and have a chance like just to play and experience something like that great. Can you talk about the emotion, the swing of emotions after Saturday's game? You know, did you guys think it was over? That the NCAA was over? How long, when did you find out, well, this was a chance? And then now for that to turn around and to think you had hope still? Um, yeah, our emotions was definitely different. Uh, coach came in there. He didn't even know that Bellamar had beat Liberty on Saturday. He didn't know. He came back in and told us we still might have a chance. That's when our spirits got a little bit higher. But we know we shouldn't have to bank on nobody else at the same time. We know that we should have came out and played better on that Saturday. But, you know, like I said, it's, it just fell our way, and it's, it's exciting to be able to go back to the tournament again and do something for Coach Harper. Talk about your journey. You get the extra year back with COVID. You decided to come back. And then um, how, how much sweeter does this make it that you got that extra chance and were able to capitalize on it? Um, it, it feels good, actually. Like that's the whole reason why I came back. That's the whole reason why Coach Harper wanted me to come back is just to have the chance to to play in the NCAA tournament. I mean, we we accomplished two out of three goals. 
we won regular season. We didn't win the conference tournament, but we are going to the tournament, NCAA tournament. So that was our whole talk, like from the beginning of the summer after this, after the season ended last year. And it just feels good to be able to to play. And you know, my journey has been long, but it's I feel like it's rewarding now. In my last year, I just feel like it's something that I've been working for all my life. Did you watch the game tonight? Yeah, I did watch the game. Um, I want to say uh, congratulations to Bellman and um, Jacksonville too for making it. Um, but Bellman played good. I mean, they're a good team, and I got a lot of respect for them. And appreciate y'all. With senior center Brandon Huffman, Huff, you came back for this. So how does it feel to be in the big dance? Um, um, you know, it's a great feeling just being here. I mean. Um, the technicality, it just so happened that we're in this position. Um, I think it's a two-way street with that. Um, it's a lot of people that may not think we deserve it after everything we've done this year, but we wouldn't be in this position had we not had the year that we did. So um, it's really just a great thing. You know, I've seen what it is, and I'm just so excited for some of these young guys to get this opportunity. And for myself, uh, really just a great way to go out, just knowing I'll have the chance again. It's just been a thrill. You and your senior class, you all, because of the COVID year, had an opportunity to come back this year. You chose to come back. How much sweeter does that make it? Um, it's really great because we really had to have these conversations. Um, me and Darian really were almost out the door with everything. We just thought it was our last year and we kind of ready to move on. But um, we had those conversations and we really thought what it would be like coming back and we added pieces and we really put the work in for this team. And this is such a familiar team to us. so. Um, it's really great knowing that this is exactly what we're here for and it's going down. Can you kind of talk about the swing of emotions on Saturday? Did you guys think that the NCAA was out of possibility when the game was ended? Did you find out after the game that you still had a chance? Like, how did that go down? Um, of course, initially we did. It was a, very, a really short amount of time um, after that we found out what would happen. And even with that, it was kind of, you know, you didn't want to lean too heavy and hope too much about the other guys winning. But because, you know, I'm not really too sure who was planning to win that game, but it was just a crazy thing to think about who might take it. But it just so happened to work that way. And, you know, that just shows me not to doubt God, really. You know, that just shows me, um, you know, we've accomplished a lot of things and it's just so happened to work every time that we've needed something to kind of just get us where we need. And even with a few losses that we shouldn't have taken here and there and with the year we've had, it's a great feeling just to be in this position. Jalen Gibbs, you're, you're in the dance. How does it feel to be in the NCAA tournament? Mm, it feels great, the best feeling I had. Mm -hmm. We didn't get it the way we wanted, but I think we all prepared and ready to play for sure. Can you talk about the emotions of Saturday, thinking that um, it's over after Jacksonville? Knowing you had the NIT, but thinking the NCAA was, was out of reach and then finding out, okay, we've got another chance. And then what was it like having to wait until today, knowing you just had to wait to see what somebody else did? It was it was a, it was a different feeling. It was a feeling I never had before, but after I lost the game, I thought it was over. And, you know, Coach Taylor, he, he said in the locker room, you know, we still got a chance of Bellarmine beats uh, Jacksonville. So I'm just happy they won, and I'm ready to get to work with my team. You came in this season and joined this bunch of seniors. Um, a veteran team, you came in, fit in right away. Talk about joining this team. Um, was this why you came to Jacksonville State, to help JSU get to the NCAA tournament? And, and what's it like playing with this veteran bunch? Uh, well, I first started, I, I had a lot of schools hit me up, but I first started looking at school when Coach Harper texted me. And his text, it just, I just fell in love with it because, you know, I got his trust. I felt, I felt like I trusted him right off the text and the call we had. But when I started looking at the team, I was like, Yo, we really have a good chance, you know, making a tournament, but not only making a tournament, but making some noise. So I'm just happy we're in there. So I'm, I'm happy we're in there. We can we can show what we all are capable of as basketball players. I'm happy we got a second chance. Did you watch the game tonight? I watched it in parts. I couldn't, I, I stopped watching every, I had like, I'm very superstitious. So if they started coming back, I'd leave the room and then I'd come back and watch it again. So it was definitely fun watching them. And I'm happy, I'm happy they got the win. Kane? Uh how does it feel? You know you're in a big dance. How does it feel? Definitely exciting. Once in a lifetime experience. Um, never have had a chance to actually experience something like this before. So I'm really just I'm looking forward for what's to come. I've been told 
you know, it's, it's, it's a big deal around here. So I'm just waiting to see what, see what approaches us and I'm ready for the competition ahead. Being from London, what do you, did you watch March Madness uh, growing up? I mean, what do you, is it, is it something, is it as big over there? I mean, do y'all pay, do, do? People, I mean, I have coaches, a lot of friends that, you know, big on basketball back home. But like, um, I've, I've watched a couple times March Madness, not probably like the big Final Four games, you know, but nothing too crazy like that. But when I came down here, I kind of like understood how things really work more. So, I mean, yeah, I've pretty much always been into March Madness. I can say that. This senior class, you guys got another chance with the COVID year, able to come back for another year. Does that make it a little bit sweeter knowing you've got that extra chance and you were able to capitalize on it? Def definitely, definitely does. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of glad I took my COVID year actually. Like, I was just thinking like, I didn't even, I didn't know I was gonna come back for another year. I didn't, I heard a rumor about it. I didn't know for sure if it was actually gonna happen. So when I found out it happened, I was like, this is a blessing in disguise. It's like, you know, a second chance for us. And we made the most of it. We made the tournament on a regular season title. And I'm just, I'm just happy I've made the right choice. Can you talk about the emotions of Saturday? The loss to Jacksonville, you probably thought that the NCAA tournament wasn't a possibility for a little while, and then you found out it was. Can you talk about that swing of emotions and then having to wait to today to find out what happened? It was definitely heartbreaking at the time. I mean, just lost the game, buzzer went off. I mean, I was very emotional at the time. Going to the locker room, coach gave us his speech. He was like, boom, I thought that was it. He comes back in and tells us, hold up. I think I'm lying. We still have a chance. So I'm thinking, oh, okay. So the like, I could just feel the emotion in the room. It just, it was less tense than it was before. And um, <clears throat> from then on, like everyone's mood just kind of like lifted up a little bit. We weren't really too down about the game. Again, we was just, we just, we didn't know where we was gonna end up, NIT or NCAA tournament. We were just waiting on the, you know, the results to come. And we found out today, and we're just over the moon about it.